Hello all and thanks for joining us on another Paranormal Pit Stop. Tonight, we'll be exploring a historic estate located off of Lamar Avenue in Memphis, Tennessee that looms over a sweeping seven acres of grounds, recognized as one of the oldest and grandest of abodes to grace the bounds of its aged city, and also, more ominously, as one of its most haunted. Are you ready to brave the history and ghosts of the prestigious Ansdale Mansion? Historically, the Ansdale Mansion was initially constructed from 1850 to 1855 under Dr. Samuel Mansfield, and later, in 1868, it was purchased by one Colonel Robert C. Brinkley as a wedding gift for his daughter Annie Overton Brinkley and her new husband, Colonel Robert Bogardus Snowden. For well over a century, subsequent generations of Snowdens would inherit the aging residence, living out full lives and dying within its bounds, until a collective estate sale was held in 2009, resulting in the whole of the property and its contents being auctioned off. In 2010, the mansion itself was purchased under Ken Robeson, who'd formerly established himself through Robeson Finch estate sales and appraisals, and who'd actually attended the estate sale, during which time he later reported he'd felt inexplicably connected to the weathered structure. Following this acquisition, Robeson would set to work on a slew of renovations, additions, and upgrades to Ansdale, preserving its 14-foot ceilings, Robeson window treatments and garden, and in 2013 would reopen the expanse to the public. From its reopening and into more recent times, Ansdale has welcomed a slew of annual events and has acted as set and piece to a number of photo shoots and magazine articles. The mansion remains open into the present, serving as an ever-popular venue for weddings, receptions, rehearsals, luncheons, business meetings, banquets, and more, while offering full tours of its premises whose rooms all hold very distinctive personalities and individual histories. On a side note, said tours are available by appointment only, so for those of you considering a visit, it would be best to call ahead. Shaping the mold for our classic haunted mansion, Ansdale has long been shrouded in stories of the supernatural and of encounters with the inexplicable that local legends tend to claim are a result of the spirits of those connected to its bounds and lives since past. Additionally, mansion grounds are said to have been utilized as a makeshift hospital campus through the Civil War, and a bone fragment found within a boarded-up fireplace is believed to have belonged to an unfortunate soldier who died near both staff and visitors to Ansdale have reported a wide range of otherworldly happenings, including disembodied footsteps heard from empty spaces, shadowy figures spied stalking the living, and phantom voices, cries, and moaning detected on the winds. Several informal investigations of the property have yielded high EMF levels, chilling EVPs, and extreme hot and cold spots felt in adverse weather conditions, while a handful of disturbing accounts tell of the sensations of being watched, of being followed, touched, grabbed, or even of pure shooting phantom pains that have become so intense at times they've immobilized those experiencing them. Batteries and electronics on site have been known to die at abnormal rates, cell phones and other personal devices often act on their own accords, and orbs and spook lights have been observed by sight and also captured in both photos and video. Also reported across Ansdale Mansion grounds are instances of lights flicking from on to off by themselves, of doors opening and closing on their own, and of objects spied shifting or even floating through midair. Lastly, a range of full-bodied apparitions have been encountered about, including the ghosts of various soldiers, of former medical staff who seem to be rushing about to patients no longer for this world, and of what are believed to be various generations of Snowdens themselves, clad in clothing that perfectly displays over a century's worth of high fashion. Thanks for tuning in for this Paranormal Pit Stop. If you enjoyed our histories and ghost stories, subscribe to our channel, like this upload, and share us with anyone you feel could use a good scare. Pleasant dreams.